Hello, my name is Dougie, and I'm just going to talk about a couple of sport pedals and how to fix the clutch and um, and the throttle. First, I'm going to explain a little bit about the pedals themselves. There's my pedals right here and right there. There's the back of them. So, in uh, there's a pin here, and it in this one it doesn't not your brake one, but in the clutch and the uh, in the clutch and the throttle, there's a magnet in at the end of the pin, and it looks like uh, that. That's just like this pin here, uh, and it looks like uh, let's see here. Oh, it doesn't look like that. Yeah. Looks like this. You can see the magnet here. See the magnet here, and there's a divot here that they make so you can line up the magnet properly for the magnetic sensor that senses the magnet. Okay, now I don't even know so, in City. if you look at the paddles here, you can look over here and you can see one of the magnetic sensors on your clutch here, and uh, there's one also on my. Um, on my uh, throttle. So what happens is that with the thing that we're going to fix on those is when you press your clutch down sometimes your, your uh, throttle will go like this and it won't go all the way down and it won't go all the way up and the same thing will happen to your clutch where it won't go all the way down, won't go all the way down and won't go all the way up on the settings here. So it's very it, to learn how to set that up. They have a on the site on the Fanatic website. They have a thing that says tighten up, um, tighten up the screw here. I can't really show it on this because it's got the plate on here. But let's see. I'll show you where that screw is. Okay. Uh, it's this screw right here. You see that where I'm pointing right there? That's the screw that you have to tighten up on. And uh, the problem is, is if they've stuck uh, on my uh, clutch, they, they stuck in the magnet the proper way, so everything worked out good. But on my throttle, they accidentally stuck in the magnet in reverse polarity. This was stuck in the wrong way. So this divot was on the exact opposite side, basically. Uh, where it's supposed to be because you use this divot to line up you line up with the hole here the divot in there and then you tighten that this is the same hole from a different angle and you tighten that screw in there and it lines up with the divot and everything lines up really nice but if the if they if at the site I mean you can always send it back and wait months or whatever to get things done but anyway um, <coughs> If they uh, if they have stuck in the uh, the the magnet in backwards and the divots in the wrong spot, so you cannot line up the hole, and then you have to. What happens is if they if it's sent to you and everything works fine, even though the div they haven't really lined up the divot, it'll work fine for a while until the screw loosens off, which it does, and then it'll move, and then you're going to have problems with the range of motion for your throttle on this. You'll have a problem with that and with your clutch. So what you have to do, what I did anyway, is I took that pin out, as you can see, here's that pin, um, out, and then I put a, a I put it into my vise and hacksawed uh, a flat blade hole on this side here. Here's the magnet on this side, flat blade hole on this side. So then I could put the pin back in and and then twist it around. This one has the divot in it, or the slot in it for uh, turning it around. And uh, so you just keep the screw loose until you get to the right spot and then uh, you can check it with uh, your software, which is this. Da -da -da. Until you get to the right motion, you're lining up. Once you've done that, then you can tighten up your screw, which is here. 
tighten up your screw there and you're fine so um, also I had uh, another issue with the uh, thrust master or with the uh, club sport pedals there and after that there is regular maintenance you have to do you have to you have to these get squeaky after a while so you should lubricate them you know uh, not very much just I give it a spray of WD-40 and it seems to work good and uh, same with the other for all your mechanisms here because they are mechanical and uh, I really I really do actually like the whole setup I mean it's really good once you know this thing about that the only thing I didn't like is uh, and this is what I changed is um, I think when I first used it I'm not sure whatever but anyway it uh, I want to make sure that when I press the button or when I press the throttle it it uh, doesn't go beyond that so that my uh, throttle um, control can be more precise so I've limited it with this bolt system and with this bolt I've got there's just a bolt through here and um, and I've got lock washers on both sides of this washer and uh, when I press it down it it hits the bar the middle uh, bar there that, and so it stops and you can see that it actually works really good because I'll show you how far see I go there and it's just got a little bit you know, actually it's pretty well it hits it right on so I've got perfect range of motion there between here and you have to really when you set up if you have the same problem as I did where they had the magnet on in backwards on insulation from the factory um, you have to line it up so that as soon as you start pressing down on your throttle it starts showing you want that to happen and you can really, it works one bar so that works out good so um, for the price I can't think you can beat the club sports so that's the story with that um, the whole story that, that I've done to mine and I hope that helps you in your uh, if you have the problem with the clutch or the throttle have a good one Dougie out